Welcome to Masonette Math. This is Tanya Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice reflecting across the x and the y axis on the coordinate plane. When reflecting anything across the x or y axis, there is a simple rule that we can follow. Whenever reflecting across the x axis, the x values of the original coordinates stay the same, and the y values become opposite. And when reflecting across the y axis, the original y values of your coordinates stay the same and your x values become opposite. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate the rules of reflection with two examples. One reflection across the x axis and one across the y axis. First, we're going to reflect the triangle ABC across the x axis. I like to start by recording where our original points are located. Point A is located at negative 8, positive 2. Point B is located at negative 3, positive 2 and point C is located at negative 3, positive 8. Because we are reflecting our triangle across the x-axis, we know that our x values are going to stay the same, and our y values will become opposite. So we're going to write every x value the same and every y value opposite of its original. Now that we have our new coordinates, let's go ahead and plot them. Point A is located at negative 8, negative 2, Point B is located at negative 3, negative 2, and point C is located at negative 3, negative 8. Now that we have plotted our points, we can now see where our object will be reflected to. Notice our x values stayed exactly the same and our y values are opposite values. All right, let's go ahead and reflect triangle ABC across the y axis. A reflection across the y axis requires making all y values the same and the x values opposite. So we're going to keep our y values the same and turn all the x values, which are negative values, into positive values. Now that we have our new points, let's go ahead and plot our points. Point A is going to be reflected to positive 8, positive 2. Point B is going to be reflected to positive 3, positive 2. And point C will be reflected to positive 3, positive 8. All right. Now we have the location of our new points, we can reflect our triangle across the y-axis. We can see that the y-values of the reflected objects are exactly the same, but the x-values are opposite. Alright, thank you for checking out this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, or follow me at any of my social media links shown on the screen. If you need further assistance with other types of transformations, such as translations, rotations, or dilations, we have plenty of more examples that you can find by searching this channel. Until next time, this is Tanya Masonette for Masonette Math.